Welcome back to FOMO Sapiens, the show for entrepreneurial thinkers. I'm your host, Patrick J. McGinnis, and it's Tuesday, so you know what that means. It's time for another round of Pat GPT. Pat GPT. This is the show where I do exactly what ChatGPT does. I give you information that will help you in your work, but unlike ChatGPT, I'm not going to make things up. Our topic today is enlightened FOMO. All right, ready? Let's go start generating. So why enlightened FOMO? Well, let me give you a little perspective. So on Thursday, this week, and then in the following week, I have a two-parter with the star and the director of a new movie that is out now on streamers like Amazon and Apple. It is called This Is Not Financial Advice. Tinfa for short. You can find out more at tinfafilm.com or tinfafilm on Instagram and the other socials. And this is a movie about folks who speculate. They were inspired and caught up in the speculation in the markets that was inspired by GameStop, if you remember that whole thing. And then they got into things like Dogecoin and Mana, which was the cryptocurrency of Facebook. And this documentary follows a number of people, but the real sort of the central protagonist is a guy called Pro, who puts all of his life savings into Dogecoin and then rides it up. So he puts like $180,000 into Dogecoin, rides it up to about 2 million, 3 million nearly in value and then never sells anything and then rides it back down. And so it's an incredible story. Now, why, why am I telling you this? Because I'm in the movie. And so I got to see it. I've seen it three times now. And I love it. And it is so, so relevant to everything we talk about on this show. I mean, it is entrepreneurship. It is finance. It is FOMO. And so I was lucky enough a couple of years ago, I was approached by the filmmakers and they said, hey, we're doing this movie about speculating GameStop. They hadn't, it wasn't even about Doge at that point. It was really more of GameStop film because, you know, these things move. Would you be willing to talk about FOMO? So I happened to be in LA a little later and we recorded some video and then it was put into the film and there I am. So it's pretty, pretty cool stuff. And the movie, again, like I'm just delighted to be a part of it because I think it's really valuable and interesting and timely. Now, you'll hear all about this from Chris Temple, who is the director, and from Pro, who is that Dogecoin speculator millionaire on Thursday, and, and then we're going to continue that conversation the following week. So you're going to get all that you need there. But all this has made me think, I've been talking with friends about the fact that there is now a Bitcoin ETF that has been permitted. And so you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be super excited to invest in Bitcoin. And it's up right now. Who knows where it goes? But as we know, crypto is very volatile and it is definitely prone to speculation. But people are, you know, they're curious. They want to have exposure. And so I thought, you know, how can one harness FOMO for good and do so in a thoughtful way? And I came up with this idea called enlightened FOMO. New term alert, enlightened FOMO. So that's what I want to talk about today on Patchy PT. We will continue generating right after this break. FOMO. FOMO. All right. We are talking about enlightened FOMO. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, enlightened FOMO, as I see it, combines FOMO, which we all know, fear of missing out, obviously, with a more positive and mindful approach. Now, of course, FOMO is about anxiety, apprehension, this idea you're missing out on something. And it comes from social media, events, activities, reading the news, Reddit, all of these people. And, and particularly when we think about crypto, I mean, you go to Reddit, you go to Wall Street Bets, you have all these people talking about the money they're making. You have no way of knowing. You have no way of knowing. But obviously, we all want to make more money. So it creates FOMO. Maybe I should be speculating. Maybe I should buy Dogecoin. And as you will see in the interview on Thursday, Pro, I mean, he became a media star because of his holdings of Dogecoin. I mean, that was really community for him. And he he never sold because it was his identity. And so when you get into that world, there's all this FOMO and it's really easy to be sucked into it. But when you have enlightened FOMO, it's more conscious, intentional. 
you're aware that you have the fear of missing out, but you're going to use it for positive self-improvement, to have a new experience. And you're not just going to do it willy-nilly, you're going to do it thoughtfully. So really, if you think about it, Enlightened FOMO is leveraging FOMO as a tool for good. It's mindful. It is dealing with the pressures in a hyper-connected, crazy world and saying, what can I get out of this that is good without totally going overboard? Now, there's four ways to do this, okay? How do you practice enlightened FOMO? Let's think about the whole Dogecoin, Bitcoin, crypto world. I hate to put them together. They're quite different, but you get my point. Number one, do your due diligence. Don't just go off and buy some stock or some crypto. Try to understand what it's all about. Now, it's easier said than done because some of this stuff, like who really knows why Dogecoin goes up or down? I mean, it's a joke. It's a meme coin, for goodness sake. But at least understanding what you're doing and what are the risks and knowing that you've done some minimal homework rather than just buying it on a whim, important to do. So diligence. Number two, think about your motivation. So Pro never sold because he had this whole identity. Like he wasn't thinking like an investor. Dogecoin became more than an investment. It became his, his sort of face to the world. So when you're doing investing or taking part in something, think about your motivation. Why are you doing this? Are you doing it because your friends are doing it? Are you doing it because you want to, you know, diversify into something new? Speculate? That's okay. If done thoughtfully. You got to think about knowing the motivation. Why are you doing this thing? What's the why? will make it a lot easier to know if you're being sensible. Number three, diversification. I just mentioned this. Diversify. Don't put 100% of your stuff into Dogecoin like pro. 5%, maybe 10 max if you're feeling really crazy. No more. Seriously, no more. Diversify. Really important. And number four, don't become emotionally attached. When you want to sell, just sell. That's the thing. Like It's back to motivation, but it's sort of like investments are meant to be entered and exited based on risk and reward profile. So when a cryptocurrency is really low, and you put a little bit of money into it, risk is pretty low. Reward could be high, who knows? When the prices run up and then you sort of like, geez, this feels really overvalued. The risk reward is totally different. Get out, take your reward. So that's my four things, diligence, motivation, diversification, and, you know, monetize. All right, that is my pad GPT for today on Enlightened FOMO. Love to hear your thoughts. You can find me on Instagram at Patrick J. McGinnis. Twitter at PJ McGinnis. I guess it's called X now, but I call it Twitter. And email at let's connect at patrickmcginnis.com. I will see you Thursday for a conversation about all these topics and many more. But until then, take care of yourselves, FOMO Sapiens. FOMO. FOMO Sapiens is recorded in New York City. Theme music is by Mike McGinnis and editing and post-production is by Josh Elstro. If you like today's show, please be sure to rate it and recommend it to your friends. And as always, you can find me at FOMOSapiens.com and at PatrickMcGinnis.com. To advertise on FOMOSapiens, reach out to contact at FOMOSapiens.com.